am Patrick Edwards, and I'd like to celebrate what Patrice Lejeune, my partner, and I have done in the last eight years of work. As you know, we specialize in French marquetry, and we work with traditional methods that are authentic to the 17th and 18th century. So let me show you what we've been doing in terms of our Treasure Box series. First, we came out with Treasure Box 1. This was a box that we made four copies of with an ebony background, and it was copied from a box that was sold at Monaco by Christie's. And inside this Treasure Box 1, we have some olive wood, king wood, tulip, and a secret compartment. And so this, we sold the four very quickly as Treasure Box 1. With that success, we were encouraged to produce a second series, Treasure Box 2, and on this series, Patrice decided to enhance the design with more complexity, and we added materials like bone, which is white, and we found a way to make it green so that the bone would be used for the leaves in the flowers. <clears throat> we also decided to add birds because they're very popular. So we have a blue bird on the front and we have uh, birds inside uh, with a bloodwood background and kingwood and tulip and so forth. So this is Treasure Box Series 2. Those sold very quickly. After the success that Patrice and I had with Series Treasure Box 1 and Treasure Box 2, we wanted to do something more challenging. And uh, we've both been admirers of the coffer, the coffer at the Getty Museum, which is um, it's a large marquetry box. And we reduced it by one third, by 30%, and we produced this box, which is Treasure Box Series 3. This we chose, instead of ebony, the, a background wood that's very rare from the 17th century called ferriole. Is from the Schwarzia family. It's uh, sometimes called ironwood. It's very hard to cut. It has the density of brass. But we were still able to make four copies of Treasure Box 3 with this ferial background and we decorated it further with brass and pewter inlay. And so this is Treasure Box 3 which opens this way. Now let's take a look at how they work from the operational standpoint. To operate the treasure boxes, we devised a series of secret compartments with special hardware. On box one, it was very simple. This is treasure box one, which opens up this way. Now, this is a false compartment, but you can't open it. You have to remove the pencil tray, push a button, and lift up on a lever, which allows this to remove, exposing the label. Then this goes back in the same way it came out. And that's about as far as we got with the secret compartment for Treasure Box 1. In Treasure Box 2, we developed a secret compartment which is completely invisible. Inside here we have room for the pencils and, and writing apparatus, but there's a very special spot here which is softer. When you push on it, this comes out. And this is your writing surface. On the back of that we have our label. And this goes right back in and disappears completely unseen. Treasure Box 2. I'm pleased to show you Box 3, Treasure Box 3, and the special hardware that we designed and had made by a local machinist, which is embedded into the cabinet itself. Obviously, there's a lock and key which locks the entire box. You can open the box lid and that particular key has a position where you can push on it and it opens up a secret compartment for the love letters that go in here. And that is something that is not easy to access if you didn't know where the key was supposed to be. On the front we have two buttons which open up the lid and then under the silk velvet we have a compartment lined in satin wood from the 18th century and at the back we have a button a single button when that is pushed the drawers open and so you can access the drawers now all of this operates perfectly and it gives it 
owner of this box a chance to explore the secret compartments that we've designed to make the box usable, functional, and interesting. Treasure Box Series 3. And we decided that in this case we would produce a stand of the same design, uh, Louis XIV, that would allow us to place this box in a special place in the owner's home. And that stand is also covered in ferriole with brass and pewter and marquetry from the period. So, Treasure Box 3 with the stand. Mm -hmm.